the JSE, our home, better known as the heart of the economy. So we are celebrating today 50 years listed on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. What an amazing milestone. The highlights of a morning like this is always the opening of the market. In all the other countries around the globe, they do this by ringing a bell. We do it a little bit different. We do it by the blow of the horn. We make lots of noise. So the louder we, we make a noise today, the better the market will perform. I would now like to hand over to our CEO, Nikki Newton-King, to welcome you on behalf of the JSE. Nikki. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an unbelievable honor for me uh, personally to welcome you and particularly the Ackerman family to the JSE today to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Pick and Pay's listing on the JSE. To contextualize this achievement, there are only 43 companies on the JSE, just over 10%, 43 companies on the JSE that have been listed for 50 years or more. What an amazing achievement. 50 years ago, the Beatles topped the charts with Hey Jude. You could have gone to watch 2001 A Space Odyssey or Planet of the Apes. President Mandela had then spent six years in jail and BJ Forster was the prime minister of this country. And so the world must have been full of contradictions. It must have taken a very special courage to start a business in those climates. And I'm sure like many of you here, Pick and Pay has featured very large in my life. I cut my business teeth, if you can imagine, in a pick and pay trolley. And when my junior school class wanted to, to run a tennis tournament to support a local charity, the pick and pay manager in Somerset West could be counted on to provide some of the hot dogs, demonstrating to us youngsters that it was not only about making money, but supporting the community also mattered. And when I joined tens of thousands of other cyclists around the peninsula, and I have to say a far smaller group um, on the Change a Life charity, we did that with the generous support of Pick and Pay. And so today we celebrate the 50th anniversary of this remarkable company that is Pick and Pay. Listed on the 4th of September 1968, and today its market cap, as you can see it, as my colleagues will explain, nearly 32 billion rand. An extraordinary performance. <laughs> I would like to invite Pick and Pay Chairman Gareth Ackerman to do the keynote address. Morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so much for being here. Nikki, to you and your team, I thank you very much. And thank you particularly for stealing my speech. I don't have much to say anymore. For us, it's a real, real honor to be here. And I'm particularly grateful to see so many of our Pick and Pay colleagues who are here this morning, so many friends. and. Our friends from Standard Bank, we really appreciate Margaret and Milt being here. We as a family have been in South Africa for 100, 150 years. And this is our home, and this is where we're staying, and this is what this company is all about. This is a really, really inspiring occasion. And to be 50 years on the JSE is, for us, an amazing, amazing experience. And we're very, very proud to be part of the future as well as having been part of the past of South Africa. You know, the interesting thing was that we came to market in 1967, I'm um, 68, just 18 months after my father bought four, three or four little stores in Cape Town. And he hates it when I tell him this, but this was actually, Pick and Pay was actually probably one of the first private equity transactions in South Africa at the time. We managed as a family to get control over Pick and Pay um, through, the, through the listing on, um, the JSE. So those of you who kept your shares who were there, I don't know if anybody was one of the original shareholders, I think there are three or four of us in the room, but I can't see anyone else, you'd have done very well out of the pick and pay shares. And our growth has been remarkable. As a company, we've been growing our business organically. I think we've only been back to the market once for a small um, allocation. And we're now worth over 20 billion rand um, in assets which is remarkable considering that it's all been generated from our own cash flow and building the business. Today we have over 1,700 stores from those original three or four in seven countries, and we're really proud of the growth that we have and that we're continuing to have into the future. One of the real reasons that we actually jumped into a lot of our computer technology was that the government, and I can't remember the year, put general sales tax into South Africa. But with GST having come in, we could not, 
run on those old tills. So it was the first time that we actually went electronic. And those first electronic tills are the precursor to the highly automated systems that we have today. But pick and pay's principle has always been around sticking to our values and putting the customer first. And for those of you who heard the amazing results presentation put out by Richard yesterday, it's all about one pick and pay, it's all about values, and it's all about looking after our customer. And we have three core values in pick and pay which I believe are absolutely unbreakable. The first one is our consumer sovereignty. The second one is doing good is good business. And the third one is making sure we're the most efficient business that we possibly can be. And everything we do in our business is driven around that. But after that incredible period of time, we still remain a family controlled business. Being a family controlled, we have put in place a majority of independent, non-executive directors, and I'm delighted to see a few of them here. We've got Audrey and Alex, and I see David Friedland, I think that's also Jeff somewhere. And they make a huge difference having non-executive directors who keep us on our toes and who make sure that we stick to the highest standards of global corporate governance. I think what we're seeing here today is testament of Raymond and Wendy's vision, and particularly Raymond's inspirational, caring leadership that throughout this long journey has been one of the great constants in this business. And the loyalty and the dedication of so many of our employees are based on the values that they've put within the business. And I think where we are today under the incredible guidance and leadership of Richard over the last five years has taken us to new heights. And I'm so proud of the work that he and the executive have done over the last couple of years, and particularly of the results that we announced yesterday. So we can look back on the last 50 years with a huge sense of satisfaction, but I really feel it's just a precursor to what's coming into the future. So once again, thank you very much for having us all here. We really appreciate it. Thank you. I would like to call on um, the founder of Pick and Pay, Mr. Um, Raymond Ackerman, to come to the stage, as well as Gareth, please, um, to blow the kudu horn. Nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, lots of noise. One. At the moment, the market opened at 9 o'clock, and right now, trades are updating to let you know that uh, some shares have already started trading. The security that we are looking at for today, pick and pay, how brokers uniquely identify the security will be the security code, which is PIK. Description, giving you the full name of the company. Bid refers to the buying price, and ask refers to the selling price. So the buying price is currently is at 64 and 89, and the selling price is at 65 and 12. Opening will be the opening price that we had this morning. Last will be the last traded price for the day. And then beneath that is the order book for the pick and pay uh, uh, share. And underneath that, the J203, that's just the top 40 all share index, just to let you know how the, share has, uh, the all share has been performing over the last 12 months. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to call back on the stage the chairman of the, uh, and founder of Pick and Pay, Mr. Ackerman, please, to accept the bull and bear trophy from our CEO, Nikki Newton-King.